Hello everyone, I am Sada Sarao and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session we are going to learn get method and post method in web application. See guys, in this video I am going to discuss about what is the get method and what is the post method, what are the differences between get method and post method, why you need to know about get method and post method. See, whenever we are raising a request to a web server or it may be an application server, definitely we need to use either get or post methods. There is only definitely we need to use either get or post method. Now I am going to discuss about get method and post method. Get and post methods are HTTP methods. If you see, these are the different variations uh, about the get method and the post method. If you see the syntax, in, this, in the case of syntax, it uses the keyword get and it uses the keyword post method. I will show you how it is. For example, I am opening my browser, I will show you how get method looks and how post method looks. For example, I am hitting gmail.com. Whenever you are hitting the gmail.com, I will show you how it look like get method and how it look like post method. Now it is opening developer tools. It is opening. I'm clear everything. I will show you how it looks like. Now I am hitting gmail, gmail com. I am clear everything. Now I am hitting the gmail.com at here. What it is going is, you see, the gmail.com. Now the server hits the request. If you see, this is the request. If you see, this is the request. If you see in the request header, See, this is the request method is a get method. It doesn't return anything. If you see, uh, status code is 301. Uh, remote address A is alternative cache control. Content type is at here. Content type is at here. And uh, which type of character set it is using. And uh, which type of method. This is the get method. Whenever you are doing, um, whenever uh, you are entering the information, I will show you. This is the get method. If you see, this is everything. This is called a get method. We are raising a request to get method. We are, uh, we are hitting the server web server uh, asking to gmail page home page that's why this is called the get method for example if you want to see the post method at here 
I will show you the post method also. For example, I am doing the sign in at here. Now it is going to asking username and password. I am entering something at here. I am clear the things at here. Now I am doing the next. See here, this is the one more request. If you see, this is the request type is post. Means if you see in the request headers and the parameters and all those things if you see request headers these are the headers i am sending and uh, these are the request parameters these are the request parameters i am sending this is about the form data what i am entering the username and password it is go with like this this the uh, data is encoded with the uh, for the protection and all those things this is called the post method if you see this is the difference between the get method and the post method this is the post method and whatever you are hitting the gmail that is the get method this is the syntax now how inputs are sent if you see in the get method along with the url appending after the question mark in the form message if you see in the post method whatever the url username and password sending it will be sent along with the request body whatever the form data is there it will be sent along with the form data for example if you are sending if you are asking the get method see here get method this is the get method if you see this is the get method after the question mark this is the uh, key and this is the value this is the value this is the get method this, uh, this is the way to parameters going to send to the server the next one is input type if you see the input type in the get method it is going the ascii character in the post method it is going ascii character or a binary character if you see in the gmail these people are using uh, input characters are if you see at here remote address and all those things these are the request get request headers these people are using uh, encoding character is ggip uh, encoding is the ggip and br something e english en us these are the content type this is see this is the content type utf8 these people are uh, accepting uh, using the character set is called utf8 character utf character set parameters count if you see how many parameters able to uh, use in get method is can handle the 20 22000 to 64000 parameters based on the server it depends upon the server the parameters is going to change it is starting from 2000 to 64000 in the post there is no limit to send the parameters and coming to the input size where if you see after question mark you are sending some input to uh, you are uh, sending the input to the web server that uh, input size it, it allows up to 2048 characters only 2048 characters uh, if you see in the parameter count there is no parameter count if you see in that there is no limit at uh, input size we can send in uh, uh, any much of data but if you see in the get method it supports only 2048 characters the visibility of the data sent if you see in the get method if you are sending the input through uh, get method the data will be uh, visible on the url if you see after question mark you are sending the data see continue is equal to continue is the key and the value is this one like this way the uh, that uh, whatever the para, whatever the input you are sending to the server it will be shown in the url itself in the get method and coming to the post uh, coming to the post method cannot be seen as it sent to a, as a message for example you are sending the message at here whenever you are sending the uh, url and username and password is doesn't show it in the url in the url it will be send it in the request body next uh, coming to http method see here default http method is a get method it's not a post method by default http method is the get method coming to the browser history if you see now i'm if you see in the browser history for example i'm going through browser history if you see in my history I am opening my history at here. 
see i'm hitting the gmail at here so many times see this is my input box uh, i am using it uh, 1459 it is the uh, this time i am opening my input box my mail input box whenever you are opening this mail input box it doesn't show means it doesn't uh, if you see now entering it will be asked it will be redirected to your home page login page now if you see in the get method the sent data remains in the web browser history and can be later by anyone anyone able to see in the browser history if it is the get method if you see if it is a get method if you go in the history if you see in the history it will be easily show what data you are sending requested to the server if you see here question mark service is equal to mail and something you are sending something data to server it will be show everything in the url but coming to the post method the day the sent data never resides in the web browser history and therefore no one can later see it if it is the get method the people will go to the history and check it what data that person sends to the web server if it is the post method no one can't able to see what data is sent into the web server next one is bookmarking bookmarking it allows the url to bookmark and it turns the sent data for example if you are doing any bookmarks at here for example i am doing bookmarks here see i am so many are there i am done the bookmarks at here if you see these are the bookmarks whenever we are doing the bookmarks if i am opening it here for example i am going to here for example i am opening this one whatever the uh, whenever i am saving this one automatically it will be show at here this is the bookmarks that supports by the get method and uh, if you see in the post method it doesn't support the bookmarks there is no nothing to do with the sent data even the web pages are bookmarked as a bookmarked pages do not store any user information the next one is caching the cached pages stores the user input and allows the future retrievals for example if you see i am going to hit here whenever i am login it will be asking uh, it will be asking to for example i will open this one language desk home not this one sorry for example i am going to open bookmarks means whenever we are opening see caching if you see caching now see I, I didn't enter any username and password at here username and password at here but by default whenever i am remembered whenever i am saving whenever you are login uh, okay at here it is asking to save it in browser uh, it is saving in cache or not whenever you click on the save automatically it saves into the cache memory whenever you are opening this page automatically it fill up whatever the data is available in the cache it will be fill up in this text box that is uh, supported in the feature retrieval in the cache and if it is the post method the cached pages never stored into the user input the next one is refresh or back if you are using the refresh or back the refresh or back action in the case of get method do not re execute the request if the older execution remains in the cache memory also such as retrievals from the cache happens without any alert messages to the user therefore the user may think that it is it is the latest but uh, the turn of the server may contains the different data in the case of the post method the refresh or back action fetches the data from the cache only after sending an alert message to the user the user may cancel it and can even re executes to fetch the latest data from the cache next hacking hacking means in the case of get method it is easy to hack the data and if coming to the post method it is very difficult to hack the data why because why i am saving uh, why i am saying hacking is very easy while doing the get method is whatever the data we are sending in the get method it will be shown in the url that's why 
Uh, it is easy to hack the data. Coming to the post, it's not easy to hack the data. Why? Because the data will be sending into the request body with the encoding format. Now, when to use the get method? It is the best suited to send the less sensitive data such as the search queries, chat messages, social media contents, online research, etc. where there is no concern for the security. If there is no concern about the security, in that case, we are going to use the get method and uh, coming to the post method, it is the best suited to send many sensitive data such as passwords, bank details, etc. where security is most concerned. If the security is most concerned, then this situation we are going to use the post method. This is about the get method and post method in a web application. Whenever we are doing developing a web application, definitely before that we need to know clear picture what about the get method and post method when to use the get method and post method uh, in which places get method and post method is going to support this is about get method and the post method thank you guys thank you for watching this video thank you for your time thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.